All right, so here is a update on the sorcerer and uh, the colors I got on here right now is the ultramarine blue, a titanium white, and then I have a unbleached titanium for areas of the bone and for the staff here. I went with the decided to go with the unbleached titanium for the staff figuring that it would be cooler if this if the staff was made out of ivory and uh, you can see here there's two different colors for the bone work I have to work on that blending and really not too much to say about the back part of the model I just have uh, Altering blue is pretty much predominant, and then I got a gold strip going down the back here. I also got some gold done to the gun, and that is pretty much it. This model itself, I would have to say, is a very detailed model, uh, also meaning that it's quite complicated to paint. The area in underneath the cloth here and of course I can't this freaking model leans forward hiding all the good detail on, on its front but there's like the sorcerer's eye in here that's gold um, there's just a little bit of other things in here and this is definitely a model that you'd want to paint in pieces not in one stage so I've been slowly working at the eye here with the gold uh, like like I said gold's really been a tough medium to get down on this model and unfortunately like I said since he leans forward a lot of the stuff that's underneath these little shoestrings hanging from his helmet uh, hides it all The one thing I've been kind of debating yet is whether if I should paint a eye like on the staff here on the back of the cloak. I've been kind of debating that yet. I don't know for certain if I'm going to do it. But it, I would think it would, would look kind of cool. I just don't know if my freehand skills would be adequate for the task. So I've done some touch-ups to it. I got some silver on to the wizard. I've tried doing the blending for the bone. Doesn't look too bad. Um, the ivory staff, I got a little bit too much on the bottom part of the staff. And I can see that on the back part. Um, I need a little bit of touch up on that little juju bag there. Um, but yeah, every time I turn around, I go, oh, there's a spot I missed. So there's something I forgot to paint. But uh, so far, I would say this guy is doing pretty decent. Working on that uh, spell book there. And those two little round things there, I think they're supposed to be bullets, so I will paint those in a bronze or something just to show just for it to show up a little bit. And I did go with the silver for the power cords here. So I got some silver here I gotta touch up yet. I don't know if I'm gonna wash the model. Uh, I mean, I, I did wash the ivory staff just to give it more of a a color to it, but um, I, I'm afraid like with the wash, the wash seems like all it does is just hides the detail other than really bringing it out. I mean, that's just in my opinion. All right, well here is I'm gonna call this pretty much finished for the model. Um, I'm going to say that this is tabletop ready. Yeah. The blend for the bones up here came out pretty good. 
especially it turned out really nice up here on the top of the staff. Um, there you go. And then the ivory type look came out okay. I did some blending for some shadows in here. I reduced the uh, black down for a wash and then just kind of pulled it into some areas. And that's pretty much all I can say. Try to wash in some black here and the folds of the cloth. Probably could use a little bit of highlighting. We'll see how I think about it later. But I mean, I've I spent a pretty good amount of time on this model now that I think it's time to quit. I uh, washed in some black in here. I really just didn't know what to do with these bone-like structures. If I should have painted them as bone, or if it's the metal. So I just left it the way it is. These, um, this model, I gotta do a, a clear coat over it yet to protect the paint. And what I'll do for the clear coats is it'll be a, a all the cloth area will get a matte coat, and the metallic areas will get a gloss coat. But yeah, looks okay. For the silver, I used a different. I used um, the silver and copper. I used I used a uh, Reeves metallic. It's a uh, says fine artist quality. The mixture is like a very buttery type consistency, and it really has a lot of body to it so in using it I had to reduce it down quite a bit I used a, a clear uh, matte medium to reduce it down and that helped a lot but still held um, a good amount of body to it so and what I mean by it held body to it is that in, in some of the silver areas where I was brushing it on had um, has brush strokes to it because of the fact that the, pot, the, the paint is a, is a bodied medium. Now I just, as I'm looking at this, I just realized I gotta darken in the little holes on the, on these little silver parts here. But, I don't know, we'll see. Time right now is about five o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and edit the movie and upload it to YouTube and we'll just leave it as that. And no, I decided not to put the eye on the back. I just don't feel comfortable with my freehand skills to do that. Alright, that's tape.